Let us solve one more problem. Solution given dy by dx is equal to e power x minus y plus x square e power minus y. First let us write e power x minus y as e power x by e power y. Next x square e power minus y can be written as x square by e power y. Okay? Now this can be written e power x by e power y plus x square by e power y. Multiply both sides with e power y. So, we get like this e power y dy by dx is equal to e power x plus x square cross multiply. So, now e power y dy is equal to e power x plus x square dx. Just observe. Now, the functions have been separated. Now, variables have been separated. So, that now we can integrate it. If you integrate on both sides, you get the required solution for the given differential equation. So, now integral e power y dy equals to integral e power x plus x square dx. It is very simple. Here we need integral of x to the power of n dx formula, integral of e power x dx that is e power x only. Integral of x power n dx is x to the power of n plus 1 by n plus 1. You had better to watch my integration part 1 in that clearly have discussed all the formula of the integration. So, now here integral of e power dy is e power y dy is e power y. This can be written integral of e power x is e power x plus x cube by 3 plus constant of integration. This is the required differential sorry this is the solution of the given differential equation. Solve dy by dx is equal to x times 2 log x plus 1 upon sin y plus y cos y. Just cross multiply and integrate it. Then variables separable method can be applied now. So, variables will be separated so that we can integrate. So, now here see the solution given dy by dx is equal to this is x times 2 log x plus 1 upon sin y plus y cos y cross multiply this is sin y plus y cos y dx equals sorry dy equals to this is 2x log x plus x dx am I correct please check this step. Now, integrating on both sides integral sin y plus y cos y dy equals to integral 2x log x plus x dx. Now, this is integral sin y dy plus integral y cos y dy equals to 2 common integral x log x dx plus integral x dx. Okay. Let us integrate it. 
sin y is minus cos y this is uv method or f of x g of x method that means you have to use liat rule here this is trigonometric function algebraic function so algebraic function is first function into integral of second function minus derivative of y is 1 and integral of cos y dy that is sin y dy equals to 2 into in the similar manner log x is the first function or log x is the first function 2 of integral of x dx and minus derivative of log x is 1 by x integral of x dx is x square by 2 dx plus integral of x dx is x square by 2 plus constant of integration. Now we have to simplify this is minus cos y cos y integral is sin y so y sin y integral of sin y is minus cos y minus of minus plus cos y equals to this is x square by 2 2 times x square log x by 2 correct and minus this is 1 by 2 integral x dx plus x square by 2 plus constant of integration. Now cos y cos y gets cancelled we have y sin y equals to now 2 2 gets cancelled x square log x and minus this 2 this 2 gets cancelled integral of x dx is x square by 2 and plus x square by 2 plus constant of integration these two will be gets cancelled so what is the solution therefore the solution is y sin y is equal to x square log x plus constant of integration this is the answer solve e power x plus 1 into y dy plus y1 dx is equal to 0 so this is also one of the problems of variable separable method so let us solve it now given e power x plus 1 y dy plus y plus 1 dx equals to 0. Take this y plus 1 dx that side. So, e power x plus 1 into y dy equals to minus of y plus 1 dx. Bring e power x plus 1 this side, y plus 1 this side. That means y by y plus 1 dy equals to minus 1 by e power x plus 1 dx. Just observe, if you cross multiply, again you get the same equation. Now, apply integration integral y by y plus 1 dy minus integral 1 by e power x plus 1 dx now in order to integrate in left hand side in the numerator add 1 and subtract 1 so now this can be written integral of y plus 1 minus 1 by y plus 1 dy okay minus both numerator denominator multiply with e power minus x what do you get you just think imagine 
you get like this e power minus x by e power minus x into e power x is 1 because e power 0 1 plus e power minus x dx. So, why should we write like this? Because this e power minus x is the derivative of 1 plus e power minus x. So, that we have written like that. Again now y plus 1 by y plus 1 is 1. This can be written 1 minus 1 by y plus 1 dy is equal to this can be written integral of minus e power minus x by 1 plus e power minus x dx. Again we have to recall one of the general formula of the integration. So, that is see integral f dash x by f of x dx equals to log mod f of x plus c. Always we have to remember this kind of formulae. So, this can be written integral dy minus integral 1 by y plus 1 dy. So, this is nothing but derivative of 1 plus e power minus x is this one. You can write this step log mod 1 plus e power minus x plus constant of integration. This is nothing but y, this minus log of y plus 1 equals to log of 1 plus e power minus x plus c. So, this is the solution that is all.